Okay, so welcome back to PEP. Today's topic is core values. So who are you? I mean, who are you really? In the inner depths of you, what makes you up? What do you believe in? What do you stand for? You know, they say if we don't stand for something, we'll fall for anything. So ask yourself, you know, what's really important to you? What are you willing to compromise on and what do you stand firm on? So enjoy the following video on the importance of core values and by implementing these in your life, it'll make you a stronger, more stable person and this will carry over into other areas of your life as well. Enjoy the video and don't forget to take the quick validation quiz from the link below. See you tomorrow. We're gonna to share with you some powerful methods throughout the program. And we're gonna start by sharing with you a very important first step. That's core values. What's at your core? If you work with a personal trainer, you'll hear them talk about core strength a lot. So core strength is not just physical. It's emotional, it's mental, it's spiritual as well. So GROW has established a very strict uh, uh, list of core values that we follow and we do every single day. And I'm gonna share those with you. They're on our website as well, growwellness.com. Number one of our core values is time. And time is the most precious gift in the world. That's why now is called the what? The present, right. Spend your time wisely and make every moment of your life count. Starting when? Yeah. Right now. Number two on the list, but equally as important, tied for first place with time, is health. And health is the synergy formed when 100% of your body's cells are operating at 100%, 100% of the time. Strive for optimum health because without it, hey, nothing else matters, right? Number three on the list is wealth. And wealth is not <coughs> found in the pocket, the purse, or the bank. True wealth, W-E-L-L-T-H, is found in the mind, body, and spirit. Next is attitude. And attitude is measured by the expression on your face. So be grateful for the small things in life. Smile often and proudly so others will wonder what the heck you're up to. Assurance. Assurance is the new insurance. Strive to assure that you're doing every single thing that you can to protect your own health. Don't rely on a paper insurance policy to cover you when you get in hot water. Your insurance starts with your assurance. Investment is becoming health conscious and self-respecting and treating your self-worth as your greatest worth. Next, passion. Oh, passion. It's what gets us out of bed in the morning, right? Have fun and enjoy every aspect of your life. And if you truly love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, right? Performance. Motivate and inspire yourself to become a self-starter and a doer. Like we said in our affirmations, if you want to shun success, then practice procrastination and hesitation. Change. Change is the only constant in life. Embrace it, and don't be afraid to make it when necessary. Evolution. Now, evolution is a product of change. From experience comes wisdom, growth, and evolution. And last but not least, wellness. It's created within an optimum balance between your peak mental, physical, financial, and spiritual states. Your environment, your family, your friends, your coworkers, all of this creates an environment of wealth around you. And that's exactly what we're gonna to strive to do. So share when you have excess wellness and receive when you need help. We help businesses and individuals create their own core values. So Stillman and I worked very hard and we're very proud of the core values that we've created here for Benefitness. You'll see these around the center, and I believe you're going to see them pop up around the campus in areas as well. So understand the core values of your employer. Understand the expectations and the long-term visions there. But mostly, most importantly, understand your own core values. So I've got a challenge for you, okay? You guys' homework is you're going to establish your own core values. I don't care if it's one or 101. 
But I want you to really think about what defines you. What's at your core? You're going to work out that core and build core strength, and it's going to radiate, radiate out and become evident in other areas. So I want you to, to do this on a Word document, print it out, and I want you to bring it with you each week. Because this list may evolve as we share new information and ideas with you, okay? So who's going to commit to doing a core values list?